life shirt. Hey, cutie! I finally turn and force myself to bear witness to a boy with either dirty dreadlocks or really old braids. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing a shirt that has been abused by his lack of communication with a shower head and shoes that are begging for my attention louder than he is. Hey! Hey! Now I finally recognize that his mother didn't teach him any letters of the alphabet, so he settles for what he knows. <laughs> and considering that I have a deep sympathy for crack babies, I decide to answer him. I decide to answer him with yes. What do you want? I mean, you over there looking all cute and shit, and I'm just trying to figure out where your man at. I don't have one, I say. Well, damn, you need to be fucking with me then. You ain't my type, I say. Then I turn to walk away and he yells as loud as a middle-aged woman witnessing Michael Jackson raise from the dead and do a personal concert in her nine-year-old son's bedroom. <laughs> Bitch, she wasn't that cute anyways. <clears throat> now my condolence for crack babies escapes my scruples. I am ready to give this mixture of Tyrone Bigums and Buster Rhymes the physical, representation. <laughs> the physical representation of what would happen if Sophia didn't yell, don't do it, don't do it, Miss Felix. <laughs> but she held the knife to Mr.'s throat and there are daggers in my tonsils. I am ready to wound this flavor flayed descendants. I want to say things like, <laughs> I can tell you used all your mother's Jergens lotion in her bathroom last night because your elbows are the same color as this sidewalk. I want to say things like, you're the reason why Stride made the gum long lasting because your breath smells like a mixture of cornflakes and cow manure. I want to say things like, you're the reason why KFC won't go out of business. No, you're the reason ignorant has become a synonym for African American. No, you're the reason it took 219 years for a black man to crash into presidency. But my verbal martial arts are interrupted by the routine sirens of our grave digging neighborhood. I notice a scar that travels along the left side of his cheek. The anxieties that are neatly packed into the bags under his eyes and the frozen leftovers of optimism in his jawline, he shows me that America has pissed on him and no one bothered to flush the toilet. Damn. He says, when you pissed on so much, you become pissed off. A feces covered anger management class ready to happen. I have seen more of my relatives in the obituary section of my local newspaper than I did at my last family reunion. Yeah, I went to college. Can't count how many times if they asked me if I was ready for football practice, what scholarship plan I was on, or how many gunshots I heard before I got here. How do they expect me to make a movement when they place me in a stereotypical standstill? He didn't give me back my sympathy for crack babies that day. But for closure, I convinced myself that he said I'm sorry with his pupils. However, he's a ticking time bomb that everyone wants to write poems about and everyone wants to laugh at, but no one wants to help, so he's the one who deserves this apology. Woo!